Katie Price has denied breaking off her engagement to fiancé Carl Woods before flirting with another man during a boozy appearance at the National Television Awards. Former glamour model Katie, 43, attended the annual ceremony with eldest son Harvey, 19, on Thursday evening, weeks after sustaining facial injuries during an alleged break-in at an Essex property occupied by the star. She has since denied claims that she boasted of being single, broke strict event protocol by repeatedly leaving her seat during ad breaks and down booze before honing in on a mystery businessman at the late night after party. Taking to Instagram on Sunday, she wrote, It's such a shame having such a good night these awful stories, sick, about me coming out in fact I never went out and said I've dumped Carl this is not true I was actually proud to be with my son Harvey I wish people would leave me and Carl alone. Sick, Katie was in attendance after receiving a nomination in the author documentary category for her show Harvey and Me, when onlookers reportedly overheard her talk about ending her five-month engagement to Woods. A source told The Sun, she was knocking back the wine and asking for vodka. She was telling people, I'm single, I've dumped him and was clearly focused on moving on. They had been constantly rowing, and she said she'd had enough. She said she was back living at her house in West Sussex even though it wasn't fully done up yet. But she was adamant she wouldn't go back to his place. As far as she is concerned, it's over. Katie said she couldn't handle it anymore and wanted out. While guests were asked to remain in their seats between breaks during the live broadcast, onlookers claim Katie repeatedly got to her feet while gesturing towards the stage. Sources claim Katie later flirted with an unnamed businessman at the ensuing after-party, where she remained after Harvey had been driven home. The pair of them were walking around the party together, and could have easily been mistaken for a couple. They were very flirty. She looked very tipsy and kept leaning into him, almost as if to kiss him, the source added. It comes after police were called to an Essex property occupied by Katie at around 1.30 a.m. on August 23rd, with a man was subsequently arrested on suspicion of assault, theft and coercive and controlling behavior. He has since been released on bail. Following the attack, photos showed Katie with a bruise on her cheek and an injured lip. The mother of five said that she was attacked as she watched TV inside the property. Katie's fiancé later denied hitting her in a passionate Instagram post shared two weeks after the incident. She began dating former Love Island star Carl Woods in June 2020 and announced their engagement in April, just six weeks after her divorce from her third husband Kieran Haler, 34, was finalized. Despite the support of her loved ones, the former glamour model said she doesn't feel safe, and has been beefing up the security in the wake of her attack. Katie told The Sun, I'm still all dazed. I'm devastated. I ran away after being punched, I ran to Harvey's house nearby and have now done damage to my feet, which I previously injured. Katie said she was attacked as she watched TV, forcing her to flee in terror to her eldest son's nearby home. He wrote, I have remained quiet until now due to the investigation being carried out by the police however I have found it so difficult to keep quiet on social media due to speculation and shocking abuse that I have received. Anybody who thinks I hit Katie are completely delusional and have no idea of the reality of the situation. I have never and never would do anything to hurt Katie. 
the truth will be told. The couple were pictured together for the first time since the alleged assault a fortnight ago, when they arrived in a grey Bentley at Katie's £2 million home in Surrey. Katie began dating former Love Island star Carl Woods in June 2020 and announced their engagement in April, just six weeks after her divorce from her third husband Kieran Haler, 34, was finalized. Despite the support of her loved ones, the glamour model still doesn't feel safe, and has been beefing up the security in the wake of her attack. Katie told The Sun, I'm still all dazed. I'm devastated. I ran away after being punched, I ran to Harvey's house nearby and have now done damage to my feet, which I previously injured. Katie said she was attacked as she watched TV, forcing her to flee in terror to her eldest son's nearby home. She said the alleged assault was unprovoked, adding, I was just sitting there watching telly when the assault happened. Neighbors said they heard loads of shouting and screaming on the night the model was rushed to hospital. One neighbor told Mail Online, there was something kicking off because I heard loads of shouting and screaming. It was definitely going off. It was antisocial and sounded like a load of pee heads coming back from the pub. There was a real kerfuffle. Then I saw a car parked across the road for ages. Around half an hour after that I heard loads of talking. I came downstairs to see what was going, but I don't know what time it was because I didn't have my phone with me. I didn't see or hear any cops. I didn't see any blue lights. Another said, we heard an argument at about 11 p.m. I didn't hear anything at 1. 30 a.m. when the police were supposed to have been called because I was asleep. I know that Katie Price had been living next door. I don't think I had heard any big arguments before last night. Source close to the star said friends and family have rallied around her to ensure she has the strength to pursue a conviction. An insider told Mail Online recently, it's not true that she is dropping the case, but she is very scared and, and is feeling emotionally vulnerable. All her friends and family are behind her and will make sure she has the strength to pursue the case, so she is going full steam ahead. Mail Online has contacted a representative for further comment.